And as those families work to convince Congress to pass new legislation, the opinion on the streets remains divided as ever. And nowhere is that more evident than the border between Virginia and Maryland. And that's where we go live now to our Northern Virginia Bureau Chief, Jeff Goldberg. Jeff. Well, across the river in Maryland, you have a reliably blue state and a Democratic governor who, after Newtown, was intent on passing tough gun control legislation and did just that. But here on this side of the Potomac River in Virginia, different politics and different points of view. In the Commonwealth of Virginia, a common refrain among gun owners. We're very strong in our passion for firearms and, you know, being able to own them and shoot them. To see that passion, look no further than Scott Lawrence at Blue Ridge Arsenal in Chantilly. We value our Second Amendment rights, and that's one of the main reasons that brought me to Virginia. Lawrence moved from Maryland 15 years ago. Here, he can openly carry a firearm and believes the ability to do so makes this state much safer than his previous home. The crime rates in Virginia are much, much lower because we shoot back in Virginia. After Newtown, uh, Governor Bob McDonald formed a task force on school safety, and, uh, but efforts to restrict firearms, like closing the so-called gun show loophole, didn't go far during the General Assembly in Richmond. In Annapolis, however, Maryland lawmakers last week approving some of the stiffest gun control measures in the country, including tighter background checks and a wide-ranging ban on assault weapons and high-capacity magazines. And where Virginia is more open, rural, relaxed, and you got a lot more, quote, good old boys. In Old Town, Alexandria, a very different Virginia state of mind. I support absolute gun control. I think that we need control um, when it comes to firearms. People like Joseph Russell want leaders at the Capitol to listen to them, too. I wish they would take action, um, be a little bit more uh, stern when it comes to gun control. Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley is expected to sign that gun control legislation this week, and the NRA is expected to challenge that legislation in court. Meanwhile, Governor Bob McDonald's Safety Task Force for Schools is expected to deliver its final report in June. Live in Alexandria, Jeff Goldberg, ABC 7 News. All right, Jeff, thank you. You want to get